Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a really blessed week so far. I am currently working on the April monthly readings. I believe I have half of them done now. I'll pop the playlist up here for you and I'll be dropping the rest really soon as well. Uh, should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm always available for those. And that is the first link down below there for you to head across to my website and you can check out what I offer. Keep in mind that the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. If you would like to learn my signature process for putting it all together and delivering a powerful reading. Uh, you can find me on social media. I am on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. But use the link for Instagram down below because it is a fake account which, can you believe it, has more followers than me. So um, just to make sure you get the right one, if you use the one below, then you definitely, you definitely will. Uh, hit subscribe for me if you don't mind. Yes, that supports my channel. I think that's a great energy exchange between us and um, I will keep the, the readings coming from my heart, from my soul for you guys uh, in return. Uh, don't forget to like, share and comment. That's also a great support as well. Well, for now, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for April 11th to the 17th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Gemini, I have got the nine card block here. I've got three for your recent past, three for your focused energy, three for your near future outcome. I have a selection of oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Um, this week, Gemini, I'm working with the Sacred Creator Oracle, the Moonology Oracle, Moonchild and Starchild Tarot by Danielle Knoll, and the Radiant Rider away. Now in this um, cycle we are building to the full moon in Libra on the 17th. So the, the full moon is associated with things coming to a head, coming to a climax and you know you can see here you have the tower, you've got the three of swords, it feels like you may be feeling into that um, quite powerfully and strongly Gemini. So um, you know Libra is all associated with um, balance, truth, it is the the justice energy so it might be that you are getting justice on something that you are making some kind of big decision to move towards your truth so let's jump in and see how this comes out we'll start with the oracles Gemini the first one was ambush fear with your ferocious dream now we've actually got a lot of energy of change in this reading and it feels to me Gemini that you are wanting to move in a new direction there could be a new partnership a new commitment um, a, a relocation or a move or something like that on the cards for you and it's really saying you're going to need to ambush your own fear right the devil is here and the devil is associated with our uh, limitations, you know, perceived limitations in our environment or within ourselves that can stop us from taking, you know, bold action or bold moves. So you're really going to need to keep focus, Gemini, on the dream, on, um, you know, the outcome, on what you're really trying to create here. Because keep in mind, if you don't take action, you know, things will remain the same and there could be lost opportunities here. Instead, the cards are saying one step ahead is all you need you know when you put that first um, you know take that first step or um, first action or push over that first domino it's amazing how that ripple effect just you know uh, brings change and uh, accelerates the change it's like a snowball I'm seeing a snowball it's like a snowball action so it's time to fall the first domino this week it says bring love into the situation and that is being mindful of others that you might be dealing with, um, having compassion and empathy and doing things lovingly, whether it is for yourself or for others. Now, three of swords is your is your lead tarot energy here. It really feels to me that you are needing to sever ties with maybe uh, maybe a partner, maybe an organization. This is a general reading, guys. I'll read the cards. You'll need to uh, align it to your life area. But it really feels like there is a severing of ties that is needing to happen in order for you to embrace whatever this Ace of Pentacles is for you, Gemini. So 
you know, that is often the way as adults, we, we, we more likely stay in situations until um, something better comes along or until we really can't stand it anymore. It, we would have to be very self-actualized to go, okay, this is not fitting, I'm going to end this, I'm going to tie it up in a bow and create the space for the new to come in. We usually just don't do that and I feel like this is a situation where you have overstayed in, in, a, in a relationship or in a job and there has been an opportunity or there will be an opportunity coming in for you, Gemini, but you're going to need to sever ties and go through the Three of Swords first, which is generally a heartbreak energy. It is an energy of sadness and it is an energy of, of ending, but it's also a three and you have the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, meaning that there is this potential to recreate or rebirth out of that ending. So I'm feeling sliding doors. One door closes, a new one opens because it feels to me that you've actually been seeking for a while, Gemini, while you've been in this situation okay you haven't ended it yet but you have been opening the gate opening the door or at least trying to manifest the new and the universe has heard your wishes the universe has heard your wishes and is bringing in the choice or the decision that I feel is the catalyst for you for bringing down this tower it's like you know are you ready well show me so let's jump into the tower we've got the devil temperance and the tower now this is the recent past position. It may still be unfolding. Timing is fluid in this reading. We've got um, Capricorn and Sagittarian energy here. We've got Gemini, your energy with the lovers, and we've got Leo with the strength card. Okay, it really feels that in order for you to embrace the Ace of Pentacles that's coming, there is going to be a tower moment for you. Now, the tower, the towers in our lives are the big structures, okay? They can be our relationships, they can be our workplace, it can be our physical home. It feels like there is something that you've either outgrown or, you know, um, you've either outgrown it or it's not meant for you anymore that needs to be cleared in order for you to step onto a new path. But what I'm seeing and feeling here is that there's great comfort in that for you, Gemini. And that is a big reason why, why we stay in situations. But with the devil here, you know, you can see the lovers chained to the devil. It's like by doing that, by staying in the comfort, sometimes we create a sense of entrapment where we miss opportunities, where we don't get the growth, um, that we maybe, you know, keep ourselves smaller than what we, we really are. So I feel that the devil is this temptation to stay where we are, to not accept new growth. Um, but if you're honest with yourself, it feels like, you know, where you are now is built on a, on a shaky foundation, Gemini, and it's only going to be a matter of time before it does, <clears throat> it does come down. So temperance here is really saying, you know, it's time for you to bring yourself into balance here and you know, think about being guided forward to the new path. It feels like you might already be getting the signs and the synchronicities and the, the guidance. Sometimes temperance can be, <coughs> excuse me, you know, past loved ones, you know, from the other side even guiding you. It is a guardian angel energy. And it feels like the new path is really calling for you. The question is, are you ready to walk it? And, you know, temperance talks about, the right conditions and the right ingredients coming together. So even though it might feel like you've got a lot to go through here, Gemini, um, the universe is saying it's actually, there's per, there's, it's perfectly, imperfectly perfect, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, interestingly, the temperance also follows on from the death card, so it feels like a rebirth here, some kind of reawakening energy. So you've been seeking three of wands and I feel that this week is the week that potentially the universe has heard your wishes and is going to bring you the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles will be different for all of you. It's whatever it is that you have been seeking from within the situation. So if you're in a relationship, this could be that perfect new commitment, new love, especially sitting next to the lovers. If you've been stuck in a in a job that's feeling like a means to an end, this could be the, the job or the business partnership that feels like it's a golden offer, a golden opportunity. If you're wanting to relocate, because I'm feeling that energy as well, this could be you finding that perfect listing to, to buy or to rent. That is the kind of, just the carrot that you needed 
to consider taking a big leap of faith here. So that's the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like the universe has heard your wishes and is offering this to you, but it is going to pose you, Gemini, with a huge choice, right? The lovers, yes, it can be that you're dealing in the in the realm of soul partnership, but this is the energy of choice. Huge decisions around matters of the heart, and it's your major arcana, Gemini, so I feel like this decision really lies with you. You are the one here that's going to need to, to decide and to take the action. So we've got a decision here. Um, the Eight of Swords is here. And what you're going to need to be mindful of, Gemini, is that you don't let the, the mental overwhelm and your thoughts keep you stuck and go, oh, okay, well, it's actually just easier if I just shut my eyes and stay where I am here. That's only going to constrict you further is what I'm feeling you, you may be feeling guilty about bringing down the tower because of others, but it really feels to me that you need to make the decision that is right for you here. It feels like there's a, whether this is a love situation, it feels like there's a lot of new opportunity in the situation. And I'm a big believer that even if we change one life area, because it shifts our energy, other doors open up in other areas, okay? Change doesn't often just happen in an isolated area of our life because you're changing your energetic pattern and frequency. So we often see the person who's left the kind of stagnant relationship, maybe found someone else. The next thing you know, they're off studying something or they've found a new job or they've relocated, they're on a health kick, they're looking and feeling better than ever. So that's how change happens, right? Because it's about shifting of energy. So I think it's time for you to shift your energy and I feel that there are other changes that are that are wanting to come through for you that are attached to the situation. So we've got triple eights. I've just realized that eight. Oh, we've actually got four eights. Eight, 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 eight. Now eight is a, a hugely abundant number. It is also about mastery and power. So it feels like you're going to um, come into your power, Gemini. You might be mastering a life lesson around... Um, you know, pushing through the fear barrier, uh, leaving behind situations that have had their time here. It feels like you'll get a sense that your ships are going to come and I'm not saying it's all going to unfold this week, but it feels like this is the starting of it. You are going to need to come at this with a fair amount of strength and courage. Um, you know, we have this kind of this whole line here is about basically fighting your inner demons or maybe those around you that will want you to, to stay for maybe for their own, own benefit. But there is a greater level of potential to unlock here if you are willing just to put this little bit of work in to get over the line. The Eight of Wands, if you're expecting a verdict, a message about being maybe successful for whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, I feel like that is coming for you and that could happen around um, the, the end of the week or the time around the full moon, that's when things are going to come to a head. The Eight of Wands can be that message that changes your direction, that leads to swift change for you. Yeah, and Eight of Pentacles, there might be some work involved to bring this in, but I really don't think that you will regret it. Let's get another one for that outcome. We have got the Three of Swords, yeah, of course, like, there's going to, the, the, the work or the hard work feeling is associated with what you're going to need to, I don't feel it's like, what am I needing to give up, because I think you know you need to give this up, but it's more like, okay, now I actually have to go through this ending, I have to sever ties, I'm going to have to leave that employer, leave that partner in order to, to do me in this chapter, you know, and to um, really embrace this Ace of Pentacles. Here's the Six of Cups. Yeah, it's like, it's your time to receive. Uh, it's your time for growth. And it's your time for uh, sort of like a return to innocence here as well. It's like a rebirth. Seven of Wands, yeah. It's like you're realigning, realigning to your truth, realigning to purpose, and there goes the justice energy. So it feels to me that April 17th, around the time of the 
the full moon in Libra is where things are going to come to a head and you're going to be posed with a decision and this decision will bring things into balance for you, will bring you the new or of course because you have free will Gemini you can choose to stay where you are and I'm not saying that's going to be bad in any way it just means that you will potentially miss this opportunity or that you will continue to get more of the same and stay in that tower that's already kind of shaking and it's only really a matter of time before it comes down so it feels like there is a, a karmic balancing here waiting to happen interestingly this is number eight in this particular major arcana as well so it's your fifth number eight in this reading so that is a, a number that is all over this reading if that is meaningful for you as well Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective and may or may not be for you. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I read them all. I do my best to, to reply. Um, also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and like, share, comment. It does help support the channel and keep the readings coming. I will see you back here for another one next time. Do take care. Bye for now.